This video will be covering how to use the new driver app. A few things you should keep in mind is that some of the options you might see in the video may not look the same or might be missing due to the company being able to hide options that they feel aren't needed. You can collect payment at any time during the ride if the company you're doing the trips for needs you to collect a payment and or a signature. I will not spend any time explaining all the different button options you might see during the video, so if you'd like to get that information, please click the link here or go to the link in the description below the video. The first thing we'll need to do is open up the driver app and enter the company ID, username, and password that was assigned to my driver profile in Limo Anywhere. If you do not have this information, please contact somebody at the company you're working with. Once we get logged in, we will need to go on duty and select the vehicle that we're using. Once dispatch assigns a job to me, I'll get a notification that will allow me to look over the trip details. I can click outside of this notification window to view the details later, or I can click the View Job button to see the information right away. I'll also receive a notification when somebody in the office makes a change to the trip details. Now to accept or reject this ride, I'll go to the Pending Trip tab, select the appropriate response. In this case, I'll select the Accept button, which will place this trip in my upcoming trip section. Now that I'm ready to start the trip, I'll click the Start button and the trip will be moved to the In Progress section, plus it'll put the job status of On the Way. If I've got the wrong car selected by accident, I can quickly change the vehicle by selecting the Requires a Different Vehicle button and then selecting Yes to change my vehicle. If I need to look over the ride information again, I can click anywhere on the job except for the red icons. The red icons will take me somewhere else. Once I pull up the ride details, I can add the miles out if it's required by the company that I'm performing the ride for by clicking the pencil icon and adding it here. Then I'll go to the navigation button and select the complete trip option so that I can map out the whole trip. Once I get on location, I'll go back into the app and select the arrive status. Some companies want the driver to call or text a passenger when on location. We can easily do this by selecting the phone icon. If the passenger hasn't made it to the car and I need to start the wait time timer, I'll go into the reservation and select the pencil icon. Then I'll select the start button. Whoops, there's a problem. They have a grace period. I'll need to wait to start this timer until their grace period is over. Now that I have the client in the car, I'll update the status to customer and car. I'll need to go stop the timer by going back into that pencil section. We will have an update to the app soon that will automatically stop the timer once I select customer and car. This also might be a good time to get a quick signature from the client for our terms of service if it's mandated by the company I'm working for. I can do this by opening the trip and going to that pencil icon. Then select the Get Signature button. If the client needs to read the terms of service, I can select the Terms and Condition hyperlink at the bottom before they sign. Once I drop the client off, I'll select the Done status and update the trip with any additional information the company may want from me, such as pricing, extra stops, attach an image, or miles in. I would also collect a payment and a signature at this time due to their bill going up in price because we added tolls and parking. Now that the trip is closed out and paid off, the app will place this ride under the completed ride section.